next news. Next news is from Italy. Catholic Church investigating two nuns who returned pregnant from missionary trip to Africa. Oh no! Apparently women are deciding to have sex without permission again. That's an emergency that can that cannot be tolerated! All right, let's see what this summary is. Number two, two nuns are being investigated by the Catholic Church. Investigate, I like it. Maybe investigate your own, your own child molestation. I, <laughs> I, wish, I mean, this is such an obvious, oh wow, such a brave take, Armin. I know, but it's too easy. I have to take it. Like, see, like do they use some of these resources to investigate your child molestation problem that you have in your own, like, Oh god, this is too easy. Anyways, let me continue. The African women who are from different orders in Sicily reportedly got pregnant while on separate missions to their home country. Oh, where is their home country? One of the nuns, a 30-year-old based at a covenant in northeastern town of... I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. Somewhere um, in Messina discovered she was pregnant after going to a hospital with severe abdominal pains. The Gazeta uh, newspaper reports. The second nun, a mother uh, superior caring for the elderly in southeastern city of somewhere else. Again, I'm not going to try to pronounce this. Has also discovered she is pregnant. Oh, guys, link is in the description. Summary is in the description. If you want to find out where these places are, I can't pronounce it. Go check it out. Uh, by the way, a lot of people are like, oh, why, do you, why are you saying these news without a source? Did you even check the description before complaining? The source is always in the description. Anyway, he would launch an internal investigation to find out. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. Sicily's health counselor said that he would launch an internal investigation to find out how the pregnancies became public knowledge. Oh, <laughs> so the, the problem is how they became public knowledge. Actually, that's fair. That's fair. I'm going to give it to the Catholic Church, okay? I, I, I was going to... I'm going to be fair here, okay, Chris? See, this is this is a fair atheist show, okay? This is a very fair atheist show. We're not just going to demonize the Catholic Church because we're atheists, okay? If, they, it's, if what they were investigating is how this knowledge became public, I give it to them. I, fi I think their motives might be because they don't want the Catholic Church to be embarrassed, but let's be charitable and say that this is about the privacy of the woman involved, okay? Because if they were investigating how these women became pregnant, well, you need to mind your own fucking business, okay? They, if they want to have sex, they can have sex. Go fuck yourself, Catholic Church, right? If you are investigating this like, oh, how, who outed us, who's embarrassing the Catholic Church, well, fuck you as well, okay? But if you're investigating because these women, this is their private lives, who is, you know, making this public knowledge about these, you know, about these women's private life, maybe they didn't want other people to know, then fair, fair enough, fair enough Catholic Church, I will give you that, I'll be charitable, I know you won't be charitable to us, nobody, most religious people are, well, I are not, but we'll be charitable and say that maybe, maybe the only thing you're investigating is I don't know, Chris. Did you look into the news? Is there any reason to for us to not be charitable and say that this is uh, not their intentions? Because you know, I want to be fair here, right? Yeah, I actually did look at it. I did read that article, and it didn't explicitly state why they're launching the investigation. Right. All it said was that they're investigating that it's become public knowledge. Okay, okay, so let's be fair. Uh, it might be, it might be, I know this is, this is, people will find this unlikely, but we should always give the most charitable motivations to people. It, it could be the Catholic Church is like, wait, this is the, these women's private lives. Who is making these women's private life information public knowledge? If that's their motivation, then kudos to you, Catholic Church, but not kudos to you for many other things, but just for this specific thing, okay? I don't know what your motivations are, but I'll try to be fair. Robert is saying missionary trip. Isn't that a little presumptuous? It could have been a reverse caragirl trip for all we know. Okay. Okay, Dad. Uh, Lee Ju is saying 
Oh, Immaculate Conceptions, Christians 1, Atheist 0. Oh, yeah, did, did they try the whole um, God, preg God impregnated us uh, trick, or was is that too old now? Uh, Kevin is saying, praise God, two cases of Immaculate conce Conception start. The is that how you say it? Immaculate? Immac is that how you say it? Immaculate, right? Immaculate Conception. Basically, for people that, do I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's basically the idea of Mother Mary becoming pregnant without uh, having sex. Um, oh, it's a missionary work, all right. Okay, a lot of dad jokes. Um... It's sad for these nuns, though, right? Like, may, like if you go on a trip and you get pregnant and you have sex, if you're not a nun, you're a lot of you already have to deal. Again, this is another unfair bias against women. Men go on trips, spring breaks, and stuff, and sometimes their entire purpose of that trip is to go have. It's called sex tourism, and they come and nobody has to figure out what they did, right? Women have to deal with a lot more shame and guilt. Um, and you know social uh, embarrassment and all of that uh, the, all of this being a taboo and that's just for av the average woman imagine if you're a nun imagine the level of condemnation a lot of demonization a lot of am the amount of guilt that you have to deal with coming back to the Catholic Church after becoming pregnant during your missionary, right? Like, imagine what the amount of shit that these women are have to, having to deal with. I really, like, feel sorry for them. So, that's so sad. And again, if you think they're, oh, they're nuns or whatever, like, you know, we'll, we'll fuck you. Um, let me see what the... Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.